Hi folks, Baz and Gary Strongman. It's Bench Day today, and we're on week 13 of my program, Garage Strong Bench. Essentially, phase three, week three, we're up to 78% of my max, or we're still on 78% of my max as per last week, which is 125 kilos. But now we're upping it a little bit with the aid of chains, or what I'm trying out today is these bands I've bought. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the, the equivalent. It says 11 to 35 kilos, I believe, each one. Might be pounds. Um, so normally, I, I'm looking for an added sort of 10 kilos. Um, so I'm going to have to play this by ear and see what the equivalent is compared to the chains, which I knew were 10 kilos each. So essentially would take off 10 kilos from the bottom to give me 20 on the top which is obviously an added 10 that's what we're looking for so with these bands i'm not entirely sure so i'm going to do a, a practice set first so go and set up um and see whether we're looking at 10 kilos each or together and then i'll just adjust my weights as normal for the for the working set to give me essentially about 135 at the top of the rep which is obviously 10 kilos more than 125. Some basic maths for you there. Um, so yeah, my working sets will follow. Please enjoy. So that's the setup. I've just done a practice set, if you like, with these bands. Obviously I've positioned the middle there and that's Equi space in those bottom pins, that's as wide as I can get. So the tension's not quite on straight from the bottom, but it comes on pretty soon. So I just did a set with 110 plus these bands. I'm none the wiser, really, whether it says I just looked where I bought them, and it's 11 to 36 kilos resistance. Now I still, and then in brackets, it says pay. but that was to buy. So I don't know if it's the pay are giving you that much resistance or what. But I did a, a test run with 100 kilos and the um, and the bands. And it's feeling pretty challenging at the top. I did a set of six, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna consider them like the chains. I'm gonna say these are giving 10 kilos each, at least. I just don't know. It's a different feeling to the chains. The chains is really quite a linear increase in weight, whereas this obviously as it stretches, it's kind of a bit more exponential, I suppose, if that's the right phrase, towards the top. It, it, it doesn't increase linearly like the chains. The chains I, I obviously set up. Um, so you've got this big bit at the start, so that's the start of my rep, and then you pick up the majority of the chain during the lift. You sometimes see a nice thin chain or, or a bit of cord doing that bit, but I couldn't cut these chains, so they all come as one, so I've kind of bunched them up there off a big um, carabiner. So they, they all come up in, like, in a bunch during the range of motion. I say the weight the weight adds on it follows the strength curve obviously you're stronger at the top end of the push so it, it, it adds more resistance there which you otherwise might not get off your chest so they're going to do something but in terms of my numbers being a numbers man um i don't quite know what to write down in my pad but i'll just put plus bands so i'm gonna go for 10 kilos less i'm gonna stick it at 115 kilos plus the bands, the same as I would do with the chains, to hopefully take me up to about 135 at the top, if not a bit more, probably a bit more. Let's go. Okay, I've had a great warm up now, absolutely sweating already. This is the first working set, so I've got 115 kilos on the bar, plus the bands, which is gonna be at least another 22 at the top. But, you know, probably more than that. So, um, yeah, 22. I think we're probably looking at 
137, as soon as it starts engaging. So, and then that's about two inches off the bottom. So God knows what it is at the top, but let's see, I'm looking for five sets of six. If I get much less than that, obviously I've gone too heavy. Let's see, it's a bit tricky getting underneath here. There's no way I could unrack it. Oh, get in. Oh. Oh. about where I want to be anyway so managed the six right I've done three sets of that um managed the six on each occasion uh just not really enjoying it as much as the chains I think are like the clanging and everything so I'm going to try them now for the next three sets and just see how it compares in terms of the load at the top so it's 115 plus the chains which I know at least at the top is 135 um Obviously, with the bands, I, I just didn't know, but it was at least 137, I'm sure. So we'll see. very similar in terms of resistance at the top just a bit more fun I think with the chains um, and I'm able to re-rack it as well so I think I'll ditch the bands use them for other things right folks I did the two more sets that I was needed not three on the chains and on the last set the fifth set I failed on the sixth rep. So it was bang on the sort of weights I should be doing. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Pretty exhausted as well, so hot in here. Cut my session short. I've got, supposed to do skull crushers and maybe some close grip bench to finish off, but um, absolutely fried. So I just did some external rotations. That business with the bands to compensate as per what the um, Australian strength coach was saying on the last programme I watched of him where he was doing benching with, um, oh man, I've forgotten his name now. I can see him. Damn it. Little, little fella, big log lifter. Anyway, come back to me. But he was saying, obviously, when you're doing all pressing movements, yeah. It's doing that sort of rotation. So we gotta do some of those to sort of balance out, keep the shoulders healthy. So I normally do it as part of my warm up, all my rotations, but I'm adding some in at the end. I'm gonna to look to do some with maybe cables or um, dumbbells. But for now I did it with the uh, with the bands again at the end. That's me done. If you've enjoyed my session, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for future Strongman content. I'm Baz Gavish Strongman. See you soon.